to them in the north. I wasn't even thinking about this. That's some well, another eye opener. That should that's, be shock that's, that's, that is announced, yeah. But you know that they're not going to announce anything to us. They're not going to tell us yeah, anything. And they change. No. That we, our people have ADHD, short attention span. So until mm. they bring something else, and then we'll all forget about this road and you know look at something else. And that's the way that the politicians have always played us. You know, they do some something something ridiculous, and then we are all talking about it one moment, and then the next moment we've we've uh, shared, uh, you know pushed our attention somewhere else instead of focusing on the real thing. That's where the problem is. Mm. And then we talk about we talk a lot about illiteracy because I've been listening to education and calling in, and you know, it's really showing concern about the education and everything. Yes, do you know that there's a massive fear in the Western world about Africa? Africa has the largest number of youths, right? Yes. Africa has, um, I don't know how to explain it, but there is a fear that we outnumber them, right? Mm. Now, the weapon that they're going to use against us is illiteracy. So they have to ensure that majority of those people remain illiterate right mm. now, because how else are you going to be able to um, stay, how you, become a zombie in your own country? It's when you don't have information, when you don't, when you don't have the capacity to push against your government, just like you're talking about now. Mm. Previously, when they had floated the idea of having bases in countries like Nigeria, you had people who were learning enough to say, you know, no, 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 we don't want any of this, right? But as our, as the people become more illiterate, right, it makes it easier for them to do anything they want in that country because the people are not as literate or able to push the government you know, to say, okay, we understand such and such and such and you're not meant to do this and push them real hard, right? But as long as the people remain illiterate and, and unable to, you know, um, really think critically about the things that their government is doing, it makes it easier for third parties like America, France, and whoever to come in and do whatever they want in that country, to have an easy ride. So, I mean, the only thing I say is that we, we, we have a, a big battle to fight. And it's not just against, against the government of the day. It's also against all the foreign interests with that, you know, that want the resources in that, in, that, um, in that country, right? In that whole region, right? Because we keep thinking well, our problem is just the politicians. Our problem is not just the politicians. It's also the outside forces as well, right? Mm. And they seem to have more, how I put it, more power. You, you know, they're able to well. put certain yeah. more power and influence, they're able to put certain idiots into power and ensure that they stay there, mm -hmm. right? Wreck all this kind of havoc, ensure that your people are not educated. Because mm -hmm. trust me, Tunubu is not interested in educating anybody or improving the educational system to ensure that his people are enlightened and, and can think, think critically for the next um, uh, generation or for the next millennium or whatever, for, or for the day even. Do you understand? So as, as we continue to have this problem, it makes it easier. We can't wait for 2027. I've been saying this and I'm saying it repeatedly. Otherwise, we will not have a country to, to fight to or, or even anything to fight for. Mm. Nigeria will become a jungle. Like, well, and there are people that they, they, they would have finished the whole uh, transition and all that, that we may not even have anything to fight until they tell us, what are you fighting for? We are fighting exactly. for our freedom and our life. Where? In where? this Nigeria, what because what's the, where? You have no Nigeria or anything. You are just here as our subject. So what? When? Say, well, ask your government. Which government? Ask your government. Because they're signing away. They're signing away our lives. They're signing away the lives of, 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 uh, of, of future generations just like that. And we're just here folding our arms, talking every day, you know, a lot of that. We need to start doing something. Yeah. People, we have to wake up. As for the Igbo people who are in Lagos, I don't know what else to say. They are building, they've, they've built houses, they've, they've, done, they've, they've gone by the book, you know, if you consider Mende, right? They've gone by the book, they've done everything right, but here we are, they're still, you know, um, pulling down it's, houses it's and things like that. Their properties, you know? My yeah. goal, I don't, yeah. I really don't know what to say with regards to that particular situation. Whether to say, okay, people, we have to start thinking of outside the box. If they don't want us there, then we have to go, we have to go somewhere else, okay? Even but we have to start thinking is even not just the Igbos anymore. If you have your money, even if you are a uh, Yoruba, uh, you know, you are advised to be very careful. You lose everything. If you are one of those who are hiding anywhere in Lagos, these criminal politicians want everything for themselves. And all they have to do is to say one reason or another,
get rid of your property and, and claim your land. Mm -hmm. But see, yeah, bottom line, my because I know other people want to call in and also chip in and everything. We have a massive fight on our hands, and I don't think it's this can wait to 2027. Like I said, we're not going to have a country or a place or a region. We just need to start thinking about how to get Tinubu and everything that he has, and everybody that he has coming, including the ones, anyone who is associated with APC and their own generation, the generations, that, just get them out. Otherwise, like I said, mm -hmm. we're not going to have a place to come home to. Let other so people can uh, uh, for that. So uh, let's take another one. I think I have here. Oh, sorry, I just lost that. Um, sorry, if you are trying to get to, I mean, to call in or get through, uh, remember uh, the number is right there on your screen. I'm gonna right off this. I'm gonna. Why? Why is he asking me to call? Okay, yeah, I think I go on now. Okay. Sorry, it's like uh, maybe because of uh, how many of those numbers popping through at the same time. So I picked one and he said, like, uh, you know, I should call you back. No, I can't call you back. I have a caller. Hello there. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Mayogun. Good evening to you, Baba. How are you? I'm fine. Professor Mayogun, thank you for the lecture. It's thank always good to, 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 to listen to you. Uh -huh. Go on. Okay. Uh, uh, I was not, uh, I did not watch uh, the time we were speaking about uh, this uh, uh, US and uh, France uh, military trying to come over to Nigeria. To establish their base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, why do Nigerians as a whole, home and abroad, why is every Nigeria descending so low, so low, that even what Burkina Faso rejected? Uh, Mali rejected, Niger rejected. It is now Nigeria that is going to accept it. What is wrong with Nigerians? What is wrong? Because I, I, I want this thing. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me say this. Yeah. The, the agreement, colonial agreement, that is what these uh, Francophone countries rejected, canceling that agreement because colonialism was never uh, put to an end. And that is why those military bases were over those countries in order to continue to exploit those uh, Francophones. So the same thing is what is happening to Nigeria, even if we're not having bases before. Because the colonial agreement is in the document that has to do with that Commonwealth uh, nonsense that the British wrote that make all these uh, Commonwealth nations to submit everything they have to 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 these uh, colonial masters. If Nigeria will uh, Nigeria accept this, let me tell you, I go to end. Tell us. My fear is that we that are in abroad, we will not have a place to re re return to Eventually. because this currency is going with terrorism, and that is why they blow Libya up, and that is why this terrorism they used to take over all these uh, francophone nations in order to, for them to continue to exploit them. So that is what they are, Nigeria want to accept. And if Nigeria accepts it from terrorism to recolonization, and no, every, no Nigeria is able to come back home again because the program of this military base they installed in Africa, mostly the, this uh, Sahara area, is going to make them to recolonize Africa again. And that is why these uh, Francophone nations are rejecting it. And Nigeria, Tunubu, that is a soda, Afonja, will never accept it. Hmm. Go ahead, though. Okay. So every Nigeria, anywhere they are in the world, this is not matter of Igbo, Yoruba, and the rest. Every Nigerian, whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, Osa, should stand up and reject this monster because they want to destroy us finally. They want to destroy us finally. Because if they enter Nigeria, terrorism will never be over. And they will exploit and take everything to turn Nigeria to be a wilderness. And don't forget, Nigeria is the most populous African nation. And if people don't, don't know, <coughs> the time uh, Macron S died, in, uh, they, they eliminated Macron S in America. The secret document that was leaked from the CIA and the FBI is that they never want any Africa, any Africa to raise up their head to cause the unity of Africa because they know that the blessing 
in this world belong to African people. And African people are the ones that first initiated a civilization in all over the world. So these people knew it and they stole that civilization from us. Now, when, after they have colonized Africa, destroying all our history, they are now saying that uh, they, are, they are the one that a, a kind of without them we cannot succeed. So every Nigeria, whether you are in America, in UK, in any part of the world, to stand against it. We don't want military base. We don't want their military in our territory. Because this is not a full of needs. Who, have, who, who encourage this terrorism? They are now crying. They said they don't want it. Every Nigeria should reject it. Every, whether you are in America, any part in the world. Because if you allow, if Nigeria has allowed it, none of us will have a home to go back to anymore. We will be like people that have been driven and driven forever. Baba, God bless you. Everybody heard you loud and clear. Thank you so much for that, okay? Let me take another one. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Um, here. Is uh, another call on the line. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Very good. Oh, good <laughs> evening, uh, Idris. Is that you? Ah, uh, yes, sir. It's been, it's been a fight. I've been trying to call. Call the, the line is just Talking breaking. Yeah, but he just said. Uh, I think he dropped and he said, "Call him. Call back." As I know, I'm not calling back. Fair enough that you call back yourself. <laughs> okay. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you very much for the enlightenment. Always. So um, I just put something that because whenever I call, I, I, whenever I try to call, and I have something to you know, put it down, so I forget. So I'll just put it now. I realize that. Let me just drop some things down that I will be able to see. Go over um, it. Okay. The first, the first one has to do with the deportation. And uh, now I'm not saying that. Okay, you can see now all those Yoruba people that. Um, go, let me just because I'm also Yoruba that have voted for Tinubu. I guess this is the outcome now, because I believe that uh, some of them that are that are being deported, they are also Yoruba, and majority of them they don't have where to go. So now I think are, I think everything is now clear to all of us, Abi, right? Mm -hmm. And um, because, right, let me quickly say what I'm saying because I didn't have guys in my phone, and because I don't right. I don't even know the band. Yeah, yeah I don't even I don't even know the band. You wrote it down, eh? Idris, right? I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. go on. So your first one is I don't know the band we have probably probably band probably band red. Yes, yes. So um now um I think was it not yesterday or different day or two or three days ago, someone uh, spoke about um the uh, these Chinese India people that normally that they exploit uh we Nigerians. Well, I'm also I, when I do work with them because I work as a cashier worker sometimes they go and the brutality is nothing to write them about. We, we it's like we've been we have been caged. We, we have a lot of them come to Maturi, Maturi. Or we have uh, the Fata Atere. We come there, you see them. All those Indians, the you see them. So once you are inside, once you are inside their company, they they will give you all the dehumanize as a, they will dehumanize you, and you don't. You can't even take phone inside. So you can't. You can't, you can't report, you can't report because they, they, uh, they, they try to, I think they bought, they bought all the um, security apparatus. So you can't even, you can't even, sometimes they dehumanize their, uh, their, uh, their police officers, As well. all the police officers are all that. So it happens, it happens a lot. Even uh, two days ago, someone, uh, someone came to a program, online program, and um, uh, he complained that uh, one of the companies they sent him to, to work in one as a as a probably uh, as a linguistic person, so he did to market products like that in other uh, space, and he was kidnapped. He was kidnapped for one I think ten dollars Nigeria limited. He was kidnapped along um, um, that um, north side, and he called the, he called this uh, uh, the company that they should raise money. They didn't even allow. They didn't even come to his rescue. He not yes. forgot his aversion that he they, they, all this full and they they almost they almost killed it. So what, I don't know. Um, I don't know what we are going to. Uh, you can't even report. You can't just report. You can't report. And another thing is uh, this uh, Lagos Calabar Highway. I am very very sure that it is the just a propaganda. It will not come to. It will not come to a limelight. It will never come to a limelight because I I I don't I believe that okay there is um there is resources there is um uh, world resources along this 
um, uh, the Lagos side. Why don't you start from Calabar? I don't know. But, so that is, and um, uh, this, another, in, another investigation of this um, uh, journalist that was, kidnapped, that was kidnapped by Nigeria uh, security of, of people, this um, FIJ Daniel Juku, I've, I've not seen, no, I've never heard anything about it. And now they, uh, they've been transferred into Abuja now for another, and for another interrogation or what have, what have you. So, we uh, country is just have, exposed. Uh, uh, Abacha jumped back. Tip number, we arrest as many uh, journalists in Nigeria as possible. But for this uh, Daniel Ojuku guy, uh, he was uh, kidnapped by the police IG because FIJ was reporting on the uh, IBD, the ND, the chief smuggler, gun runner, who is a friend of Tifnumbu and Nigeria custom. So instead of uh, the Nigerian police to go after uh, this guy, is exposed by this FIJ. They went after the journalist themselves, and that's why they took him and kidnapped him. Well, I'm we all know that anyway. So yeah. Turn by turn, Nigeria Limited. Idris, you've raised all the points, right? Thank you so much for adding to this set tonight as Thank well. Thank you very Stay much. safe and be careful too, right? Thank you very much. Have a good one. Yes, sir. So good I My goodness, also sir. have another caller on the line here. Hello. Oh, I lost uh, I lost the caller. Hang on. I think you are so lucky. You were able to retire it and then I get back in right away. Can you hear me? Yeah, good evening, my ego. Oh, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm very good. And you? I'm very well, thanks. Thanks for asking. Please. Thanks. You are doing a good job, Mayego. Thank you. George, I hope I hope every Nigerian should be watching your program. So, because if everybody should be watching your program, this this education they are talking about is not really our problem. The problem is awareness. If, if somebody that didn't go to school get some awareness, some level of awareness, he will keep, he will wake up from his slumber. Because all those people playing these games, they are all, they are all university graduates. None of them is illiterate that they are the Western people are using. So I don't. It's, it's high time we stop looking our problem beyond that. Beyond we start looking it beyond that level, you know. This, this, uh, remember, Mike, do you remember there's a time Buhari was saying they will take all the coastal, they want to take all the coastal line? Everybody was, yes, everybody was complaining, but but basically, this is what they want to do. They, they, they alone know their, their plan, but I know it's not, it's not for the betterment of the, the, the people. Yes, they, they know they have agenda. And they, they want to, that, that is what they want to carry on. And whenever you talk about this this project, some people turn it to be tribal thing, I which I don't understand. How can we how can we have it? And the same people we say we want to live together. How can you live together with this type of my, mindset and mentality? Mm. I don't get it. You know this 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 thing now. Okay, people are complaining about Tinubu letting uh, America and so on in. Tinumbu will do anything. Yes. Any Tinumbu will do anything in order to go to White House. He must he will do anything. He will, anything they promise him, anything they, they ask him to do, he will do it. So everybody, nobody should keep still looking Tinumbu like uh, he shouldn't supposed to do it. We should know that this man he, he didn't come, he didn't enter that power through through legit way. He's illegal, he's illegal president number one, and he has a lot of things under his on the inside his he, behind many, him. Baggages and skeletons, and skeletons and so, hmm. ex Exactly. So people people should stop looking at like this one is just the beginning. It is. Okay, now look at that. You're bringing America, and you see the war that is already staging around the world. Okay, now this. BRICS now, the, the Russian and the, the China, they, they, are, they are coming to Africa to make sure they engage on ground so that when they when they throw their BRICS currency and everything, so that Africa will follow on. But now Nigeria is bringing their enemy. So Nigeria will be a battleground. Everybody should, should be ready. Eh? This, bat, this, this battle, they will, this West will fight. They will, they will fight it in Nigeria because that is their stronghold now. If they carry their military come there now, Believe me, is the is the final stage. So anybody still become, hoping it will become, it will become uh, almost impossible to say they should leave. Okay. How can you say they should leave? They settle down now. 
They're not leaving. So it's not. It's not. This is this is the show you that is not even our country, and everybody should rise up and and, and condemn this, this this move because it will be the worst. To all this complaining, we are complaining. The more more is about to come. So because we need to really stand up against these things. Push, you can, we cannot do more because it's not our country. We know that we don't own that country. So may have brought so the, own, their, own, their own base and not the tights. So that uh, if yeah. this will allow them, they can have them when Nigeria finally, uh, you know, uh, break up. Well, those who wanted them can keep them. But for those who don't Thank want them, speak out and be resolute. God bless you, man. Thank you. All right. Uh, take care. Right. Yeah. You're Thank you. Doing okay. Thank you. Now I have another caller on the line. Here. Hello. Good evening, Uncle Michael. Oh, good evening to you. I do care. See, people are beginning to get to know you more now. <laughs> people are already saying, oh, you know, and it's really great to hear from you again. How good evening. Tonight? I'm very well, sir. I wasn't going to call in. But my spirit got a bit frustrated. It happens, right? I do care. I've yeah. had people who have been like, I just want to listen, but somehow they just found themselves on the other end talking to me. And I'm like, there's always something that will get you talking. So if you escape it tonight, you probably won't tomorrow, but I'm glad you didn't tonight. So thank you. Please. Thank you, sir. I want to bring some insight and provide some clarity yes. to the lot cooler and i have to be very respectful as a yoga girl the last caller said that education is not the problem he said that awareness is the problem that's an absolute false statement mm. this is not 1970s where there was free education this is 2024 okay 60 percent of children between the age of seven and 15, do not go to school in Nigeria. So before you can have awareness, the person must be able to read. How can you want someone to have awareness if they cannot read? Hmm. Number one. Number two, the northern part of Nigeria has 2% of education. So if you live in a city like Lagos, you live in Port Harcourt, you live somewhere that's very vibrant, Imagine that, minus 60%. Wow. Okay? There's no education in, in the northern part of Nigeria. It's like famine land. And Abuja is not the northern part of Nigeria. So in order for us to stop being angry, you have to empower your citizens. It's not even about saying, go to school. How can I go to school where there is no schools? Hmm. And then the gentleman said something else. He said, oh, it's the university people that are controlling the country and making decisions. You do know that majority of people that go to university were taught by uneducated people. I know that. Hmm. Number four, the Nigerian system does not teach governance or politics. So you have a generation of children who know nothing about the politics of their country. So when you're all complaining, I'm reading the comments and people are saying, oh, I can't believe they voted for ATC. Who else would they vote for? Can they read? They can barely drink Gary and you're upset that people are voting for ATC. That's all they know. They can't even read or, or understand things. Comprehension. It's also a There's no comprehension. Hmm. So we have to understand things from an from a, from a analytical perspective. Our anger has to be distributed in the right way. If you want to contribute to change in Nigeria, you have to address the young people. They are not, they're not literate, they're not educated, they can't comprehend. They, don't, they know nothing about the Nigerian history. No. Because there's no, do you know what it means to not have history taught in your schools? Hmm. Do you know what that does to you psychologically? That's it's the same problem you have in the UK where as Africans in the UK, you know more about the Queen. Why do I know about the Queen? Hmm. I didn't grow up with a white mother. My mother was not white. But why do I know more about the Queen than I even know about my mother? Because I went to school from the age of five to 16. And every day they taught me about a white woman called Queen Elizabeth. Right. Hmm. Right? So reasoning comes from somewhere. 
The reason why we're all angry is because we, we don't want to address the elephant in the room. Mm. If you want a nation to change, you must educate. Now, education doesn't mean teaching English. No. Not just it means giving them the tools so they can now make their decisions. So when we're getting angry about the people, the people is not you living in your four-bedroom apartment in Victoria Island. No. The people is not you living in, in, in your apartment in Kedja. The people are, they don't have roofs over their home. Hmm. Do you know what it means to live in a house with no roof? I can only imagine. So let's, 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 please, I need us to be more analytical and let's look at strategies to, to solve problems. The generation that's going to change Nigeria are not the adults. Adults do not care anymore. Hmm. But if you don't equip these young people, they are going to turn on you. They will. And you're going to wake up to anarchy. And we don't want that. Thank you. Aduke, thank you so much as always. Okay. Thanks for this okay. one too. Good night. You probably kind of have got people to start thinking now. And I love that. You know, you can strike uh, uh, thoughts uh, where have you in people and begin to say, oh, okay. So you have a good evening. Okay. Thank you thank so you, much. Sir. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. That's um, um, Aduke uh, from, um, from here in the UK. Uh, someone who has paid so much attention to uh, while everyone is trying to figure it out. What's the problem? I love my own perspective and angle, right? It is an angle of saying, you see, we are so concerned about uh, what is going on now that we are not paying attention to the damages, which is even worse than you don't have money, terrible economy, this or that. It is the miseducation of our children or non-education of our children at all. That is uh, a future disaster, okay? That is going to be worse than whatever we are experiencing now. And I love that. So we, if we want something done, we must pay attention to the grassroots, especially the children. They are those whose mind are being currently filled with unimaginable uh, what do you call it? Uh, inhumanity. They have been subjected to it anyway, so it's easier to combat them to that. Those are supposed to be our future, right? And we have to survive. And if 